with this change of power in pursuit, we also want to make sure there's plenty of players to sink their teeth in this year. For the last few years, we've been trying to attack this problem by trying to squeeze one more morsel of new content in each season uh, into in each release. But I think we can get better results with a different strategy. Make the existing death of incredible content in Destiny 2 more valuable. Good. So Crucible. Let's see. Uh, new modes that we've got recently in Season Defiance. We are getting Countdown back in the game along with a respawn variant called Countdown Rush. Could be fun. I'm excited about that for sure. Players must destinate bombs, uh, defuse both bombs of the map before the round ends. Interesting. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, running Crucible Labs, including Checkmate Control. That could be fun as well. That isn't all we have planned for new modes. Again, I like when they have a bunch of new modes available. So, uh, steady stream of novel game modes and reigning in player power will increase the health of player PvP. Pretty solid. So maps, we got Meltdown uh, in Season of the Deep. That's next season. Uh, new Vex Network map in Season 22 and the return of Citadel in our last season before the final shape. So not a new map with Lightfall, but the following three seasons will all have new maps or, or new or returning maps. In matchmaking, we still don't feel we nailed trade-off between fair match and good connection. Uh, I know a lot of people will agree with that. I think it's mostly a PC problem, though. We also want to continue to zoom out and make sure that we're upgrading the meta systems to encourage po folks to play PvP, like the Iron Banner, Banner revamp and increased reputation. I think that should stay. That was very good. Looking at Trials as well to increase that. Exotic Mission Rotator. Ooh! Trials won't be the only thing getting love as far as rituals go. This year, not only will we continue to create new exotic missions, but starting in Season 22, we'll be adding exotic mission rotators. So these will go away for a little bit, but we'll be back. So it'll be Presage, Vox Obscura, and Operation Seraph. Good. I'm glad they'll be back in the game. I think they're very good content, and having those available will be absolutely massive for people. So not for a couple seasons, but I think that's a good change. Refreshing our strikes. Talked about how we're going to be making the Vanguard Ops playlist more engaging going forward. Um, refreshing Lake of Shadows and Arms Dealer. That could be good. I, I feel like uh, changes to those strikes could be interesting. So you don't know how to approach them, especially once you get into like Nightfall level. So uh, Exodus Crash and Inverted Spire are dramatically reducing their presence in the Vanguard Ops playlist while eliminating them from Nightfall rotations. That's fine. I think those are dated strikes as well if they're not getting the revamp. These strikes will still be available for direct launch, but not actually in those playlists too frequently. Good. That's a good change in my opinion. Also getting uh, going to be upgrading how Battlegrounds integrate with Vanguard Ops. Uh, Lightfall Season 16 and Season 19 Battlegrounds will be added to Vanguard Ops playlist. I assume that would happen. So this year we'll be adding a selection of Battlegrounds as Nightfalls. Interesting. Mars Heist will be the first one with Season of Defiance. That's going to be wild. We're excited to see how the players tackle Season of Defiance first Nightfall rotation, where four of the six Nightfalls will be new or refreshed content coming to Grandmaster rotation for the first time. Okay. All right, that's I think that's good. Looking further, as we get further away from life on our seasonal schedule, we're going to make some targeted changes to virtual content based on what we've observed and why players engage in this content. While we don't expect these changes to make in the season defines over time, we want to start pushing more rewards in ritual content and more options to engage in our ritual content. Good, I think that's a good thing. The game is very wide but not as deep as it needs to be so making it deeper is going to be absolutely massive this rebalancing of, of objectives and rewards is going to be a slow burn over the year at lifefall and we're going to take a much more direct approach in our last season of the year dedicating a significant amount of development time towards more core ritual focused season while this season will have plenty of new activity and storyline uh, we want to take this time right before the final shape to crisp our core rituals and pursuit as we head into the final expansion of the light and darkness saga the last seasonal effort is now just now getting away, so expect more details as we have further in the year. A lot of what we have planned is right around the corner, including big features like commendations, guardian ranks. I'm looking forward to that. Commendations are an icebreaker, simple way of getting sent thanks to players that you're appreciated playing with. Certain commendations like pace that are in Saints' favor are only available to be given in trials, while others are given out in raid and dungeon content. Cool, I like that. With the commendation system, those at the highest level of guardian guardian ranks while proving to folks that they are consistently appreciated by others in the community nice 
Commendations represent a first step of reaching out to one another. Players want to generate a deep relationship. They need the opportunity to communicate. Over the last few years, Destiny 2 has often felt too lonely. So to those who aren't playing with folks they know, in order to improve this, we invest in the overall chattiness of Destiny 2. This is not something that's going to happen right away with Lifefall, but we want to start opening more lines of communication. Potentially good. We want to change our game-wide text chat channels from opt-in to opt-out. Uh, we think text chat is a great way for players to communicate. Uh, not really so much on, on console, though, unfortunately. We still plan on allowing players inside to opt out of the text chat entirely, meaning they will never automatically be added to social text chat. This is going to be very new to Destiny, so I expect there to be a learning curve. That makes sense. Fire Team Fighter, that's going to be really cool. Um, I'm excited. The in-game LFG is going to be... I'm so excited about that. Initially, we hope to take on first... Class in game looking for group tool and player's hand this summer with season 22 alongside our next surprise raid, making a perfect pairing for the new Raiders. But as our plans become more solidified, we realize that the features need to create true top notch LFG experience, or we're going to require a bit more time. So, that with that, reprise raid is still coming out in the summer. We're pushing Fire Team Finder to our final season of the year. That's a bummer. We think that a truly first class LFG system won't be perfect until we see how players use it. But we want to make sure that the initial launch still has a ton of features. That means a fire team finder you can queue up from anywhere inside the game. Okay, uh, th that's kind of a bummer that it's delayed so long. Can't wait for fire team finder to make its way in the player's hand later in Lightfall's year and to see how more guardians will be able to enjoy some of the best content alongside all of you. So that's pretty much it. Uh, a lot of big changes. Uh, things I'm most excited about is uh, knowing what's coming in the new season. Some of the revamps to the core playlist. I, I don't know. It's a lot. Um, I'm very excited overall. I think some of these changes are good. I think Fire Team Finder being delayed is a major bummer for me personally. But it is what it is. You can only go with what they, they're giving you at the time. But... I'd love to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on everything that we saw in this article from what we know is coming to Lightfall in general? I'd love to hear from you guys. My name is Jopa. I hope you have a good one. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Obviously, I'm going to have loads of content on Lightfall and Destiny 2 going forward, so stay tuned for that. I hope you have a good one, and I'll catch you all later.